The Big 12, they're wanting to change their name. And while I know this is a football show, the Big 12 ended basically after Kentucky whisked away Oregon State in uh, the College World Series at night in the midst of where nobody was watching it. So the Big 12 vanished (laughs) into the night, never to be seen from again. And now the Big 12 is wanting to explore a name change uh, per Don, who has shared his notes and has also just done research just to go through because, you know, I'm not going to take all of his notes, all of his hard work. I'm just going <laughs> to give a quick basis for those that don't know. So the Big 12 is exploring the possibility of selling its naming rights to a corporate sponsor that could drive hundreds of millions of dollars into the conference. Well, on the last show, we talked about how they are wanting to do advertisement on the field. And now it looks like the Big 12 saw that and said, okay, but wait, there's more. We could get more. Somebody clearly watched the Wolf of Wall Street and <laughs> they are trying to live yes. it. So, Don, since you are the man that has written all the notes about this and since you are the stats guru, go ahead and let us, uh, give us a bit more information about this Big 12 name change. And then we'll go through opinions of what we think. You got it. Well, uh, Yahoo Sports was the first to report this, and uh, the idea is to drop the big B-I-G from Big 12, but keep the 12 somehow. Uh, There'll be a corporate sponsor name. I don't know how they'll tie that in with 12, but it'll be interesting. Um, At least that's the proposal in its stage right now. Uh, Naming rights, sponsorship, all that stuff. Big 12 is set currently to earn $12 million per team annually in the new 12-team college football playoff, ranking fourth among the power conferences, Big Ten and SEC, are paid roughly $21 million. So think of it this way, in my opinion, stadium selling naming rights to fields, buildings, and everything for years. Why are we surprised? Yeah. Um, real quick before we get into that, Hayden, we'll go with you next. But real quick before we get into that, I just want to shout out Ryan, member for 10 months. Shout out to you. Uh, shout out to chat as well. BLSG. Um, yep. Shout out to BLSG, the six that are watching. Don Hayden are in the multiverse. And um, is it just? Oh, yeah, I guess because it's StreamYard, it is just a YouTube. Well, it's a YouTube exclusive, y'all, so. Shout out to y'all for being here. Uh, apologies to everybody else, but again, we'll chop this up later. So, Hayden. Yes. Give your reasoning. I was gonna. I was trying to think of something funny to say. <laughs> I, I was. I was trying to tie something in, and I was just like, I don't have enough time. I'm just gonna. Just, just like just... that awkward pause. <laughs> no, but for, <sighs> when I saw this, I saw on Don saw it on Yahoo. I saw it on Twitter from Pete Thermo. The big college reporter for those who do not know for an ESPN insider for college game day. He reported it. And from what I've seen, he said, he said sources, the big 12 is exploring selling the same right to a title sponsor with potential revenue being hundreds of millions over the course of the deal. It would be one of the largest commercial deals in collegiate athletics history, not including the media rights. So basically it's basically whoever gets this from what I read is going to be basically, it's going to be everything except for televised rights. So let's say, for example, I'm just going to name a random restaurant. Let's say, for example, Dairy Queen buys it. (laughs) They got good ice cream. If you know, you know. I don't know why. I re- First of all, they're blizzards. Don't you ever put some disrespect on Dairy Queen like that again. I'm Second talking of all, about I re- the dilly bars. The dilly bars are worse. Uh, ah. Okay. I also really thought you were going to go with the power move because you know Dante's going to edit this later. And I really thought you were going to say, let's say Nixon for whatever reason. I don't know why. <laughs> That's just where I thought you were going to go. And if you I know, you, you know. know. Continue with up. your Dairy Queen propaganda. But it, it, from what it will be, Dairy Queen will have... I'm guessing will be the big sponsor of the entire Big 12. And I, I have a feeling that the, this could be tied into the whole stadium thing, I feel like, as well, which could be very interesting to see if you, a big corporation, for example, like Dairy Queen, you could have their logo on the field as well as it being called the Dairy Queen 12. 
No. <laughs> Real quick, I just want to say, why do they want to keep 12 so bad? Because there's <laughs> going to be 16 teams in this conference. Yeah, exactly. Why so not? I just, the I just want to know why 12. Team. And I'm also like, because <laughs> I'm with Don. I'm trying to think of like what could go with 12. And I'm I'm going through like right. in my mind, like, oh, uh, yeah. Fast know. and Furious 12, you know? Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> hey, man. I can't wait. No. Nah, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just lo- I'm looking through it and I'm like, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of what group besides, you know, the entirety of like the Avengers or whatever, where there's like right. thousands, I say thousands, but you know what I mean? But I'm like, you know, Power Rangers, they had five. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they had four. You could count five because of homeboy. Uh, what was the, 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 the ice hockey kid? I don't remember his name, but again, this isn't a cartoon show, okay. but like still like the, 12 Casey is just Jones. weird and uh, thank you casey i got you. Uh, but again like there's gonna be 16 teams in this conference so why are <laughs> we wanting to do 12 why I not just redo it all why i don't 12? understand that's the real question i just you know it's it's weird um so so my take on this i just wanted to pull this up real, or just double check to make sure i had the right one um I, besides the you know why are we calling it the big 12 when there's 16 teams it goes back to again what we discussed last week with the advertisement on the fields these are more smaller schools that yeah. you know while they aren't in the midst of going for national championships besides TCU 2 years ago and you know like Utah who's constantly competing you throw throw ucf in there whatever you know so mainly like tcu for the one year but like ucf utah um are kind of the bigger the i'd say the two big schools in that and are really the only ones that are kind of competing for a national championship slash playoff spot the rest of them are just competing competing to be like in good bowl games and you know hopefully eventually be able to win the 12 conference whatever it will be called um but, you know, smaller schools like BYU, Baylor, Arizona State, um, not that Colorado needs any more publicity, but, you know, we'll throw in Colorado there. West Virginia, all of it all. all of – stop talking. Just stop <laughs> talking. <laughs> Don't do it, Hayden. Don't do it. Come oh, on, you're ready, you, you already know. <laughs> I hear the comments now. But, you know, it, it's, it's smaller schools that are getting money on top of this for, you know, bettering their stadium – or just not their stadium, sorry, bettering their facilities, you know, helping in recruiting war. So you're getting extra money on top of this conference alignment, especially with like how Don said, Conference USA is also aiming for a multi-million um, yeah. naming rights sponsorship. So it's like, you're not going to see the SEC do that. You know, you're not going to see SEC or ACC do that because those are right now the two big ones. Um, but, you know, for the smaller conferences that have the smaller schools like along this, I can see the appeal to it. Again, I just don't see where 12 comes in from or 16 teams, but you know, I've, I've beaten that horse dead. That horse is dead. It's it's so, you know, it's, it's definitely interesting and it helps obviously bring in more revenue with all the advertisement stuff that is going on. Cause that is optional. Um, the advertisement, but for the multi naming, it won't, it will affect every single school. So for schools that may potentially not want that, like, for example, we'll just say Utah. Utah's like, I don't want that. Even though they just moved to this conference, they're like, I'm packing my bags and I'm going to go elsewhere. So it, it'll it'll be interesting to see it. I don't think I don't think any school's really going to complain about, you know, a multimedia like we'll say, I'd say Warner Bros, but they're going down the drain right now. Um We'll stick with Hayden's example of Dairy Queen. I don't think anybody's <laughs> going to be like, yeah, I'm not going to go play in the Dairy Queen conference. Thanks for the multi million dollars, but I'm gonna turn that down and go elsewhere. Ooh, I don't dare think 12. <laughs> There's 16 teams. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyways, um, but yeah, I think I think it'll be interesting to see the big 12 name change. I think a lot of revenue is gonna I think more um conferences are gonna follow suit. Again, you've already seen conference USA. Plus, with the advertisement on that, I think a lot more smaller programs and smaller conferences are gonna kind of chase this revenue to hopefully better their schools and, you know, add a bit, add a bit more competition, especially, you know, again, recruiting recruits are basically becoming NFL free agency at this point. It's a bidding war now.